With any drone mission, one of the parameters to carefully calculate is the flight speed. A carefully calculated flight speed will help you fly a drone fast enough to be efficient in your drone missions and also slow enough so that the data collected is of high quality. But what parameters do we need to consider whilst calculating the drone speed? And what formula should you use to calculate it? We'll explore these concepts in more detail in this video. Hey everyone, I'm Varun, the founder and CEO at Hammer Missions, and today I'm going to break down how to calculate the optimal flight speed for your drone missions. What parameters do we need to consider whilst calculating the drone speed? And what formula should we use to calculate it? Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and if you're watching this on YouTube, click the alert notification. First, let's establish your goals. As with any drone flight, calculating the flight speed starts with identifying your goal or the end deliverable. Does this mission need the highest data quality or is this mission simply one of the many missions that you're going to fly on a single day? If your goal is the former, you would lean towards flying slower and if your goal is the latter, you, will you would prefer flying a bit faster. But how do we calculate the perfect flight speed that strikes the right balance between data quality and efficiency? Typically, there are three main factors at play. Number one, there is the lighting conditions. Number two, there is the image overlap. And number three, there is the camera photo interval. So let's talk about the three factors in more detail. Number one, the lighting conditions. The lighting conditions on site on the flight day dictate the exposure settings for your drone. On a bright day, you would want your camera to have less exposure to light. And on a dull day, you would want your camera to have more exposure to light. These settings therefore in turn affect the shutter speed and exposure setting for the drone's camera. The shutter speed is the speed at which the drone's camera can take a single image at a time and is measured in the format of 1 over the number of seconds. So now let's have a look at image overlap, the second factor. Every drone mission you fly typically involves taking images at a set interval every few seconds or every few meters traveled by the drone. If you're flying a mapping or inspection purposes, the image interval will be defined by the amount of overlap in your images. The interval is an important consideration in the flight speed as you do not want to fly faster than the camera's capability to take pictures at this interval. And finally, the third factor affecting the drone's flight speed is the drone's camera photo interval. Let's explore this in a bit more detail. Every camera has an inherent photo capture interval, the time that it takes for the camera to write an image to the SD card. During this photo capture interval, the, the camera is unavailable and is unable to take further images. Again, if the drone is flying too fast, it would mean that the camera is unable to keep up with the photos and some images will be lost during flight, which is a complete no-no if your goal is high quality data. Here's an important tip for you. Most DJI cameras have, have a camera interval of two seconds when capturing in the JPEG mode and an interval of up to 10 seconds when capturing in RAW plus JPEG mode. Now we will have a look on how to calculate the optimal flight speed for your drone mission as well as the formula. Putting together the factors I mentioned above, the drone's flight speed is simply the image interval distance in meters divided by the camera interval. It's important to know that the camera interval should be the maximum of the shutter interval depending on lighting conditions and the camera's inherent photo interval. So based on those numbers, the formula to calculate the optimal flight speed is shown on the screen above. Even though you might be able to calculate the optimal flight speed, the key question is, should you? Using tools such as Hammer Missions for drone mission planning, an optimal flight speed is automatically calculated for you for using all the parameters that I've mentioned above. I hope this video will help you calculate the optimal flight speed for your upcoming flights, or better yet, provide you with a tool to automatically calculate it for you. If you'd like to learn more about other missions supported in Hammer, please do visit our mission tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.